All right, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so on this tutorial, I'm gonna show a little bit of some uh, fiber mesh and how to get that started. Again, this is a very, very basic, so you can get uh, more extreme with fur, but I wanted to show you how to uh, mask off an object and also apply fur to each of these. Um, I think I'm gonna wait for a little bit uh, to get some of some uh, poly paint or some uh, textures from some of you uh, that have done some painting in Substance Painter and then bring it back into uh, ZBrush so we can use that as a way to color um, the fiber mesh. But anyways, this is going to get you started. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and this always brings up uh, this dialog box, who should we hide it? But this time I'm actually going to use uh, the dog uh, within ZBrush. So when you double click it, you don't have to go over to edit. It automatically gets it into edit mode. Um, so I wanted to go over masking. We didn't uh, really talk about masking uh, in this class just because we've been learning so many other uh, variables uh, in Maya, ZBrush, and also Substance Painter. And so what I want to do is I'm going to hold down <coughs> the control. And typically when you hold down the control, you can see uh, you have several different ways of doing a mask. And what we want to do is hit the mask uh, lasso, uh, but typically I'm going to click on the rectangle and usually that will mask off a, a re rectangle like so. And you can see uh, it will select different parts. Um, uh, the white is unmasked and this, uh, the, the black part is masked. And for this uh, demo, I just going I kind of want to use uh, the mask uh, lasso. All right. So again, I'm holding Control, uh, holding Control, and clicking on the brushes, and that will give me to my selection of my quick picks right here. So I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna change it to a lasso. Again, you can click on here and go to uh, the rectangle one, and then that will always save it in that. So again, control and uh, mask lasso. Again, we didn't cover this, so I'm, that's why I'm doing it now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mask out some of the head here, thinking uh, this is where, actually, I'm gonna mask everything. Uh, so everything is masked, and now we're gonna hit uh, control and now alt or option on a Mac. Control and option or alt if you're on a PC but is a uh, control and uh, option. And what I'm gonna do is select the head and also the feet. So I want two different uh, fur types for this one. Again, you're gonna probably do like 10 different uh, fur types for this dog if you're gonna do it properly. But again, this is a real quick tutorial, just to get an idea or grasp of how to do fiber um, on the dog. And so we're gonna go fiber mesh. So we're gonna to go to uh, preview, and you can see it actually did uh, opposite what I wanted to do. I have mask off whatever is in the black. Uh, I mask this off the white, and so that's all right. We'll go ahead and start with the body first. So we're gonna to go to our modifiers, and you guys gonna play around with how many fibers we want. We can actually go ramp this all up, and. Uh, you'll start to hear your computer scream. This is very taxing for uh, ZBrush. So if you don't have a souped up computer, this may cause it to definitely, um, uh, definitely uh, die. Uh, so right now I'm just going uh, length right here and I open up this dialog box and I actually want to uh, Kill it, and you can play around with uh, different links. What I'm drawing right here uh, related to the geometry. So I'm just playing around uh, with mask. You can feather that a little bit more. You can see around the neck, you can want to feather, and that's kind of key if you want to uh, feather this and intensity and so forth. Uh, play around with this. So just go, get used to kind of playing and dialing around with this. And we've got length, so we can make it super long. Uh, you can make it short. Uh, I think I'm just kind of going in the middle here. And the, the cool thing I want to do, I'm just going to kind of go crazy with uh, the length right now. And we definitely want gravity right now. It's just a big poof. Um, 
and we I always ramp it all the way up just to, so we can see uh, the fur going all the way down. We've got clumps, all kinds of, of variables here to play around with. Uh, and if you want to change the color, the base and tip, you can double click and change uh, the, the base and the color. So I'm going to go maybe uh, make the tips a little bit whiter. So uh, maybe not so. All right. And you can play around with that uh, again. The base color. All that. And I don't want to get too far with this because I wanted to uh, do people that are doing poly paint and also bringing colors from Substance Painter instead of the gray here. We can actually use the color of the base of your character and create this uh, fiber mesh to imitate that. That's the best way to do that. So I'm not going to get too carried away with the color here. And uh, this is exporting curves. So if you want to export this out to get into Maya, again, this is nothing to do with uh, a game engine. So you won't be able to bring all these beautiful um, fiber meshes out into a game engine and expect it to play. That's a whole other ball game for uh, gaming. Um, so anyways, I just want to show you just a little bit of that uh, and uh, basically setting up kind of the coverage and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of going crazy with the, the length and so forth. I'm just gonna just do a little bit of changing here. Okay, a little bit more coverage. And so this is exactly what I don't want, but I'm just doing really quickly, just kind of give you, show you how to add gravity and play around with the parameters here within fiber mesh. Again, uh, tons of tutorials out there, but just want to get you guys started. So we're going to go ahead and accept, and we're going to say yes. And again, your computer is going to crash. It crashed on me twice this morning. And if we go into sub tool, you can see uh, our fiber mesh is uh, on there. And so we can uh, actually turn off uh, the dog. Let's go down here and we can just have the fur itself and we can actually go up to the, the, the PBR. Uh, this is rendering. Again, we haven't played around with the rendering settings. It's just going to render it and do a really quick uh, drop shadow, but you can see the quality of, uh, of the render, especially if we brought it into Maya with Arnold and all that goodness. All right, so I'm going to go back and uh, make sure the, fi uh, the fiber is turned off and turn my dog back on. And now I'm going to reverse um, that where we have a mask uh, on the body and I want to do short hair on here. So we're going to hit control option. I'm just going to go ahead, oops, and just, just mask off everything. And then this time, uh, and I may be doing it wrong again. Uh, let's do that again. All right, and I hit option. And this time I'm going to go up on the neck and the body here, just like that. And I think, and we'll see, white is, I think, is how we want to mask it off. And I always get it backwards, so uh, forgive me if I get it wrong. Again, uh, we're going to go up to fiber mesh and really quickly preview it. All right, so we're going to hit preview. And so this, it worked out correctly. Again, you're going to do this multiple times, like your tail and uh, probably underneath the dog would be short uh, hair in certain regions and so uh, you'll do this in multiple passes all right so for the face we don't uh, especially around the eyes and the nose we would have masked that again and uh, probably take that off but again this is a quick tutorial you'll see how you can do multiple passes with this all right so um, the micro uh, fibers are great uh, we just want to uh, go down on the length and right now we have it quite long We probably should uh, get up close so we can see it. And I'll use my move tool. Okay, so we want a little bit better coverage than what I'm doing here. And let's uh, let's go in the length down here. All right. So we want a little bit of you know some shagginess, and again, you would do multiple passes with mask and inside the ears, around the eyes. Uh, and definitely the nose would be probably a separate object. But anyways, you can start to see what is going on here. <coughs> Sorry. And so we're going to add some gravity to that. Uh, again, 
doing this really quickly, Ari has some gravity and uh, scale root. So this is a little bit denser than what we have on that. I'm gonna go a little bit longer on the length. Uh, looks kind of silly like that. All right. So so a happy happy middle uh, with that. We've got really long for the body, but again, uh, we've got this a default with a, a gray and then white tips. Again, uh, we would use our poly paint or the color of the material of the dog to kind of dictate uh, what the color of the fur is. So uh, by no means don't get attached to what I'm doing here. You can do whatever. All right, so I'm kind of happy with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a short, sweet uh, tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept that, hit yes. And we're gonna go up to our sub tool. And you can see, uh, I'm gonna turn on uh, the base here. And you can see, uh, not not the most perfect uh, uh, fur. You can see there's missing fur, a little bit of a bald spot. I, I probably know what that feels like. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and frame that in. And you can see the different tonalities of the fur really not uh, gelling uh, correctly, right? So I'm gonna hold my shift and kind of spin it around. Uh, use my move tool here. Again, I'm gonna wait for uh, one or two students, maybe hopefully finish it in uh, uh, Substance uh, Painter. And also you can paint also in ZBrush with poly paint. Uh, you won't get uh, all that coolness of, um, of what Substance Painter can do, but uh, this will help uh, change that color. Again, we can go to uh, the PBR and do a real quick render. Again, we can do some settings and do a turntable. So if you're looking for a portfolio piece, this is how uh, we would showcase your ZBrush um, beautiful model. And so here we go, a little bit of that fur, exciting. Again, uh, we'd probably export this out uh, using fiber mesh, the curves. I haven't shown you how to do that. Um, but again, that's using Arnold, uh, Mental Ray, V-Ray, Render Man, uh, you name it, whatever uh, plugins that you have to understand those curves and to uh, render that off. Again, it gets a little bit more complicated if we rigged this and animated it. Uh, how would those curves react in real time? The physics of that. So now we're talking really complicated, but really quickly, this is how you would do uh, apply some fur in a static situation. All right, I'm gonna stop here. Hopefully um, that's some good information to get you guys started. I know there's about six, five or six of you that are doing fur. Um, so I'll stop here and I'll see you in class.